So, now we're done. Um, be able to increase and decrease by percentage. So what we've done is we've looked at finding a particular percentage. Right? So what we're going to do now, if I said to you, a nice easy one to start with, increase 100 pounds, I'll say, because it's in the book, by um, 14%. Right. Increase. So do you know what you know what the word increase means? Yeah. So if we increase, we know it's going to make it bigger. In this case, it will make it bigger. Right. It also means we've got to if we increase a hundred pounds by fourteen percent, do you know what that kind of means we've got to do? Yeah, kind of like fourteen plus hundred percent. No, 100 of 14. No, 14% of 100. No. Well, not quite. I mean, yeah, but what we've got to do is we've got to do 100% plus 14% of 100. Okay, so I'm going to say that. So what we've got to do is we've got to do 100 pounds plus 14% of 100 pounds. Now, in another way, what we can say is that is, and it's it's going to be a little bit confusing because of numbers, but a hundred is a hundred percent plus fourteen percent. Do you know the words in the back of person? Yeah, exactly. So we're going to get a hundred percent. Now, if I have a hundred percent plus fourteen percent, what will I end up with as a percentage? Yeah, good. We'll end up with a hundred and fourteen percent. Okay, now this is a nice, easy numbers, but it might not help your understanding. We'll have to do another exercise afterwards. So first of all, I think like you said, Millie, um, you've got to do this bit first, haven't you? We've got to figure out what do we add. So we've got to find 14% of 100 pounds. So what, so it's an easy one. So 14% of 100 pounds is... So what is 14% of £100? We'll stick that in there. Oh, um... Yeah, it's the easy one, isn't it? It's £14. Okay? Because 14% of 100 is just 14. Yeah. So then, the answer is... £114. So I'll give you another one to consider. Increase 400 francs by 30%. So I'm going to see whether you can do that. So actually, for this one, look, you're right in saying it's still 100% plus... 30% will make 130%. So that bit is right, it's the same. But the numbers don't quite match. So what we should have in this part of it, so if I do it in blue again, so you make the link, what would I write here but for this question? Um, well, 400 francs. So it's 400 francs. Um, plus, 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 30. Brackets. Oh, no, um, uh, 30% of 400 francs. Okay. And then you'd have to do 30 um, of 400. Yeah, so we need to figure oh, out um, what 30% of 400 is going to be. You oh, did that yeah, we've already done it. Okay. Yeah. So you need to put um, 400 francs plus 120. So it would be 400 francs, yeah, plus 120 francs. So the answer will be 520. Are you two okay with the 120? You know where it comes yeah. from? Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait. No. Well, Millie realised we did that before. 
30 percent of 400 if we go up here look there you go that's 30 percent of 400 she remembered it was 120 so we've already done it once so we don't need to do it again okay so I'll tell you what uh let's one other one going to ask you to decrease this time 44 euros by 20%. And what does decrease get mean? It's smaller. It's smaller. So actually we're now going to do 100% minus 20%. So what do we end up with? Equals um, well, same thing. So but this time it's minus, so hundred percent minus twenty percent means Yeah. So when we decrease um, we're doing a subtraction, so We've got to do what? What will it be? This is an an important bit for the future. Hundred percent minus twenty percent will leave us with fifty percent. I'm doing hundred minus eighty percent. So we're going to end up with eighty percent. So rather than you know what I want you to see, look, is when we increase, we end up with more than a hundred percent. All right, but when we decrease. We end up with less all right now that gives us two methods of doing this all right it does give it but we'll do the simple one to start with all right which is yeah go on so just a question why why did you do that now 100 percent minus 20 i just wanted to show you that this is what we end up with 80 percent. so this is actually the method of finding that out uh no we haven't actually done it yet because remember what we did here look we did 400 plus 30 percent of now i write it out because this time we're actually going to do 44 euros but not plus 20 percent we're going to do subtract um, 20 percent of 44 20 of 44 euros okay. Is it 100 euros, so yeah, I can't do it. I like to know. I like drawing the um, pounds, pounds, yeah, pounds, pounds, dollars, maybe. Pounds, yeah. no, okay. So, so we might have to do this one, we might haven't done this one before 20% of 44. So, we've got to find, so, can you do 44 cents minus 20 cents? Forty-four percent. No, we've got to find the twenty percent of forty-four euros. Don't get euros and percent mixed up. That's why it's good that we're doing euros and francs and pounds. So we're going to find twenty percent of forty-four euros. So how do we find twenty percent of forty-four? So it's a bit of practice. Uh, the, no, not the half. Um, wait. Wait. So what can I do, Jana? Talk me through it. What would I do? So back to what we were doing last lesson then. Um, 20 over 100. So 20 over 100 times 44. Times 44. Can that be simplified, Sophie? Yes. To? To 10 and not over 50. Or? 5 over 50. 5 over 10. 10 over 50 or? Five. 1 over 5. 1 over 5. Yeah. 1 over 6. So actually, um, 1 over 5 times 44. Okay. Now, here's the question. That could be quite tricky. How do I find for 1 fifth of 44? Okay. So I've got to do 44 divided by 5. Oh, yeah. 5 times. Oh yeah, it's 8 remainder, 
um, okay so we'll do it like that so we're going to do this yeah. so 44 divided by 5 so it'd be 8 times 5 is 8 times 5 is 40 40 so we're doing subtraction four minus four these four. 4 and then 5 goes into 4 wait why are we dividing because we've got to do 1 fifth oh. of four. so we do 44 divided by 5 yeah we did you um, 5 goes into 4 now once right no, it doesn't go no. at all. Oh, yeah. too, too but what we do is we put a decimal place in and we bring the zero in. Do you remember doing that? Yeah. yeah. And then five goes into 40. How many times? Five goes into 40. Um, yeah, eight times. Eight times. Mm -hmm. So it's 8.8 .8 is the answer. 8.8? So for 20% of 44, well, that is... Eight euros eighty. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Um. And that's the answer for the whole question. Well, no, not. Can you not do that. So this let find twenty percent of forty four, which is eight eighty, is only this bit here. Okay. Yeah. It's important that we. We don't think, oh, I've solved one problem. I don't have to do, that's what I needed to do. So next we have to go, well, it, now it's 44 euros. But what? Minus 8 euros 80. Yeah. So now we've got the whole thing going. So this bit has gone into there, yeah. and now we can finish it off. So now we've got to do 44 subtract 880. So I might actually, because I've not got a calculator, I'm going to do 44 subtract 8. 8.8. So, this is a test of your ability to subtract. So, what do we do? So, we borrow from the 4, so that becomes a 3, and this becomes 10. So, 10 take 8 is 2. And then we've got 3 take 8 doesn't four. take away from 4, and this becomes 13. So 13 take away 8 is... Why do you put binary? Right, the reason is... Oh, it's the binary. No, it's not binary. We're, we're in base 10, it's not binary, I know what you mean. But if I take 1 from here, what I think you are used to seeing is this. Um, actually, if I do it there as well. You are used to seeing this written, aren't you? If I borrow, I put a 1, and I put a 1 like that. Now, what does that 1 mean? Ten. A 10. So I've just started writing a 10. I write a 10. Because if I take 1 from this column, I have actually taken 10 for this column. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's all. But we can not do it if you like. So 10 take away 8 is 2. 13 take five, away 8 five. now is 5. 3 five, take... Three. So the answer should be... 35 euros. This one was hard. It's hard, but I think um, maybe you'd be allowed to characterize. But actually, can I... Um, I'm going to... Once you've written... Can I just bring you back to here, where we did... 20% of 44. Do you want to do it slightly different? I'm going to go back to this. 20 over 100 times 44. Okay. Now what we did was went to 1 fifth and had to divide by 5. Which we had to do that. Now, what I want to say is it's not always, nece it's not always necessary to hit yourself in the face with a pen. Did you? Uh, no, yeah. I'm going to... Oh. She flicked a tooth. 
Um, it's not always necessary to go all the way down. What we want to try and do is make it easier for ourselves. So I would actually go to 2 over 10 times 44. Now the reason why I do that is because I know to do 2 over 10 instead of 1 over 5, what do I do to work out 2 tenths? So first of oh, all I do 44 divided by 10 is, 10 is 4.5. 4.4, then I have to do 4.4 4 times, times 2, which is 8. Oh, 8. So it's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So it's not always necessary to go to simplest form of the fraction. All right. So that would have actually been, well, you can see it, it's a lot simpler. Yeah. A nice, easier method, so we can do that. Right. Okay. So, do you want to see that still? Yeah, yes, please. Okay. What we'll do then, after you've written, so on, um, so you are now going to look at page 77. We've got questions one and two. Right, increasing and decreasing for you to work through. 